Hey everybody, I got a package in the mail today from Walmart and it is a 50 card quote unquote ultimate collector's pack bundle. It cost me 20 bucks and the picture online showed a lot of pretty decent packs like newer tops packs with a few older packs from like 1990 Fleer mixed in. So we're gonna open this up and see if there's anything good in here at all or if it's just complete junk. I am honestly, I'm expecting like 25 packs of triple play maybe like 15 packs of Honus Bonus in there, five packs of uh, like 90 Fleer, maybe like five packs of uh, 90 Donruff, something like that. So let's see, is it worth it? 50 pack Ultimate Collector's Bundle. We got some um, packaging paper here. Okay, there is uh, actually not too bad. There's some newer packs in here, which is nice. Got some packs from like the dollar store packs from tops 2017 series two looks like they gave us about five of those that's pretty cool this is a good one 2015 update series then we've got some more dollar packs from um series one of 2016 that's actually not bad and then we get these guys you might remember the look of these i've opened these before um, I got these at Dunham Sports, so it looks like maybe Dunham's is just shipping all their stuff to Walmart and having Walmart get rid of them, but um, I don't know. It's not too bad. I'm not exactly upset or anything like that. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. We've got a newer Topps pack right here. I can't remember what year that is from on the top there, and uh, 2014 right there, so that's actually a pretty good um, mystery pack right there, and then we have this big jumbo mystery pack these sell at dunham's also for like i don't know um i think they're like 20 bucks when i was buying them um really cool i think someone told me dunham's was getting rid of all their baseball cards but this is uh definitely the ones that we got from dunham's so we got 20 packs there and then we've got 10 here 10 here and then it looks like they threw in another random like 10 tops pack so that's actually pretty awesome um not um upset at all about that you could see it it's called Ultimate Collector's 50 Pack Combo, and it is $19.97 plus the tax and shipping. It cost me $27 for all this. Let's see if we get anything good in here. Um, I'm hoping we do. We're gonna start off with, um, I guess we'll start off with this bad boy right here. 2014 Tops is on the uh, front of this one, so let's get right to it. We've got 50 packs to open. Hoping we pull some good stuff. You never know when we're gonna get um, I don't know, an autograph or something like that out of one of these mystery boxes. It has happened before. You can see these originally sold for $9.99 a piece. So uh, that's 20 bucks right there for just the two of these mystery boxes. So basically we're getting these cards for about half price of uh, what they used to sell for. So there's 2015 Series 2. And we have 89 Donruss. We've got 91 Ultra uh, in here. All these packs are falling out every which way. We got Archives from 2015. That's a pretty cool um, pack right there. They really package these well. You could literally throw these out the window of a moving car and they would be perfectly fine. 89 Bowman. Um, we got two 89 Don Ross. Maybe pull a Griffey rookie out of there. 90 Upper Deck. We've got a dollar store pack of uh, 2014 Tops. Another 89 Bowman or Don Ross. And then a 2006 pack of tops of rack packs so let's uh start right away opening these packs we'll start with the crappier ones first and then we'll do the uh, better ones in each box 89 don ross looking for a ken griffey jr rookie card or a craig biggio rookie gary sheffield craig biggio let's see what we find george brett that's a good one hall of famer right there tim rain's another hall of famer i always liked the design of 89 don ross it was one of my favorite sets when i first started collecting i used to buy a lot of these I think a lot of uh, people that grew up in that era also bought a lot of these, um, especially if you're looking for a Ken Griffey Jr. since Tops didn't have a Griffey. And a lot of us uh, couldn't afford to buy Upper Deck because Upper Deck was a lot more expensive per pack than Don Ross. There's a nice Ryan Sandberg Hall of Famer right there. Kurt Gibson, that's it for that pack. By the way, they have Warren Spawn puzzle pieces in each pack, which would be a fun puzzle to put together. I have so many of these puzzle pieces out in my garage that uh, I could probably make literally like 50 of each puzzle. Um, 
One of these days, I'm going to take you all out in my garage and do a video out there and show you everything I've got. Barry Larkin, a Hall of Famer there. Brett Saberhagen, decent career. Uh, let's uh, continue the Griffey search with 89. Bowman. There's a uh, Andy Bennis on the back. That would be his rookie card. Edgar Martinez, second year card is a nice one. Jerome Walton, this used to be a hot card back in the day, back when he was a prospect. And it looks like no Griffey. Got El Presidente, Dennis Martinez in there. Next, 91 Ultra. Bo Jackson's on the back. Get a little sticker there for the Braves. Nothing really great in this set. The Kyrkin Jr. is not a bad card. Everyone knows him. Wade Boggs. So we're pulling some Hall of Famers. Paul Molitor and Bo Jackson. Let's do uh, some more junk wax here. Get all the junk wax out of the way. It's called junk wax because um, they've made so much of it that a lot of people just refer to it as junk. But a lot of people still like it. I, I like certain cards from this era. I'm not crazy about commons. Um, I have so many commons from the junk wax era that I really don't need any more of them. Roberto Alomar is a Hall of Famer. Here's our hologram. It is a Pirates hologram. That's pretty cool. Then we have a Mark McGuire, Big Mac. And that's it for that pack. All right, let's do some of these newer ones now. It's nice that there's about four newer ones in there. How about we do this rack pack? Series 2, that's a good one. There's also three extra vintage Topps cards inside from the 80s, which is always kind of uh, fun to uh, see what they give us. Do, see if we can just do a rip right down the back, get these all to come out at once. Looks like the top one's going to cooperate. All right, 2006, looking for a Justin Verlander or Ryan Zimmerman rookie card in this pack. And we get... Nobody really good. This is the uh, pack with the vintage cards in there where they put some cards from. All right, I knocked the camera over. Sorry about that. I uh, got a Jeff Bagwell in this pack. And then we have Yvonne Rodriguez and Carlos Guillen and K Rod back with the Angels. All time single season uh, save uh, leader right there. Breaking Bobby Thigpen's old record. All right, let's see what's in here. It'd be nice to get a valuable card, but usually, from my experience opening these mystery boxes, is it's usually just kind of like commons. All right, we got a Kangaroo Jr. That's a good one from the Reds, the kid. And then we have United States Constitution. Um, one of these insert cards. I remember these random ones. All right, that's a good one. Bruce Souter, 82 tops. That's a Hall of Famer, uh, and it is in really impeccable condition. Like, the corners are really, really nice on this. Might be a little bit off center from uh, right to left, but really, really awesome condition on this Bruce Suter. Obviously not his rookie card, but happy with that one. Then Charlie Kerfield and Bryn Smith are the other three random cards, and they always give us a checklist for some reason. All right, how about we do the uh, archives from 2015? There's only four cards in this pack. Likely a uh, dollar store pack. Let's see what we get. Brock Holt, 1957, Topps Design is a nice one. Brian McCann, Daniel Norris, rookie card. I don't know if I even have that one. People had, had been sending me a lot of um, Daniel Norris cards, but I don't think I've seen that one before. And Jim Rice, 1983, Topps Design. I like that one a lot. That's a Hall of Famer right there. How about we do, um, I don't know, 2015 Series 2. It's another dollar store pack. Only a few cards in here. It would be nice if they put some 2014 update. Maybe find a... Uh, Mookie Betts rookie. Looks like we're not going to get anything in here at all. It's worth anything of value. And now 2014. What series is this? 2014 Series 1 with Mike Trout on the front. We get a Miguel Montero, Matt Davidson rookie card. Ricky Nolasco, Ryan Cook, and Alex Cobb. So that's it for the first box. Now we're on to box number two of our mystery, um, giant mystery 50-pack collection that we bought for 20 bucks actually 27 dollars and some change it'd be cool if you could pick this up at walmart and save yourself the uh, extra shipping but i don't think you're able to do that all right our next one let's just uh get all these packs out of here first and i'll go through them and tell you what they are hopefully we get some newer ones 
All right, that's all the packs. We've got 88 Donruss, and then we've got 90 Fleer and 91 Score, 92 Fleer, 88 Score. We've got another 89 Bowman pack, 92 Upper Deck, 91 Fleer, and 91 Upper Deck, along with the 2007 Tops Rack Pack. So most of it is, again, from the Junk Air. Let's just start with the 92 Fleer. Let's see what we find in here. Maybe it'll be something good. Barry Bonds, that's a good one. I used to really like this card. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite Bonds cards. I uh, did always collect Barry Bonds throughout my childhood. He wasn't ever my favorite player, but he was always one of my favorite players. I really always enjoy getting his rookie cards from 87 Tops or 86 Tops Traded, or any of them from like 87 Don Ross or 86 Fleer Update, 87 Fleer. How about we do this 91 score Series 1? Series 1 kind of really stinks. Series 2 is the uh, series that you want for 91 score because it has Mickey Mantle autograph cards randomly inserted. 91 score, you can't really get anything except for like Sid Fernandez cards and Howard Johnson cards or Mark Carrion. So if you like the Mets, I guess that would have been a decent pack for you. How about 88 Donruss? Maybe we'll find some Diamond Kings. Stan usual puzzle piece. Alan Trammell is a Hall of Famer. And then uh, let's see if we get anybody else in here. Steve Buschel played for the Pirates for a little while. Ruben Sierra's rookie card in 87 was a hot card for a little bit. Bo Jackson, that's our second Bo. It's his uh, second year card. Don Mattingly just pulled his rookie card the other day out of our Throwback Thursday. I actually pulled two of them. Really happy about that. Next up, we have 88 Score, which was the first ever year that Score ever produced cards. So this was their um, debut set. Um, Gary Carter, Hall of Famer right there. Never really minded this set, but I never collected it really that much. Nothing really good in there. 91 Fleer, one of the ugliest sets of all time. Put on your glasses, everybody, because it's going to get a little bright with all this yellow. Mark Grace. Yep, this is pretty crappy. Nothing at all in there. The sticker is literally the best part of the pack. Here's the back of the cards. At least they put a photo on the back of the players they were trying, but... I don't know who designed that card or who approved that design, but not really um, the most appealing. All right, how about we do 92? Upper deck, if I can get it open. Looking for randomly inserted Ted Williams cards. Let's see what we get. Got a checklist there. Best base runner, Ricky Henderson, holding up that base after he broke the all-time career record for steals, breaking Lou Brock's mark. One thing I don't like about upper deck pack openings is the cards are always, at least from this era, they're all going every, every which way. I gotta keep flipping back and forth. There's a Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. And then we got Joey Hamilton, Mitch Williams to finish off that pack. How about we try our luck at 89 Bowman again? See if we can find that Griffey. That would be really nice. Griffey Jr. rookie card. Let's get the gum off. Well, the gum just cost Chris Bossio some of his stats against the Royals and Twins. So hopefully, um, for Vasio's sake, he was terrible against those two teams, so we don't know about it. Yogi Berra reprint card, Mike Greenwell. And this pack has the best card in there for me is Doug Drabeck. I used to really like Doug Drabeck a lot also. 1991 Cy Young Award winner. 90 Fleer. Fleer had a couple runs of duds. Couple Actually, 90 was a dud, 91 was a dud, 92 was a dud. I like 88 Fleer and 89 Fleer were pretty good. Also, 87 Fleer was really good. So they had some nice nice years in a row, and then they just kind of fell off. Nolan Ryan is a nice card. Never really liked 90 Fleer that much. I kind of hate sorting through them because they always kind of stick together a little bit. Gary Carter, another Hall of Famer. It's like our second Carter card. 91 Upper Deck, looking for Michael Jordan's short print. Him into the... Uh, White Sox Uni taking some BP. As you know, Michael Jordan quit basketball for a short amount of time and tried his luck at baseball. Played as high as double A with the Birmingham Barons. Uh, rookie Threats, that has a couple good rookies on there. Uh, that's Jeff Bagwell, Luis Gonzalez, and is that Tuffy Rhodes in the middle? Carl Tuffy Rhodes, yep. Carl Tuffy Rhodes was awful in America, but then he went over to Japan and became literally like Barry Bonds. Like, the guy just was like a home run king over there every year. Um, but here in the States, 
Couldn't really uh, do much. He was more of like a leadoff hitter. All right, how about 2007? I see a John Smoltz on the back. 2007 tops with that black border, reminding me of 1971 tops. All right, let's see what we pull out of here. Got JJ Puts on the back. John Smoltz on the back there. That's a good one. And Jose Valverde. Bring it back memories there. Blast from the past. So we've got an Alfonso Soriano from the All-Star game back when it was at Three Rivers Stadium. Or not Three Rivers Stadium. PNC Park in uh, 2006. It was at Three Rivers in 1994. Jim Edmonds. Again, these black border cards are always kind of tough to keep in perfectly mint condition because of the black borders. They show any little touch of white. Todd Coffey. Oh, let's see what we got here. Matt Caps, the big bull rider was his nickname. Barry Zito, Scott Rowland, and Vladimir Guerrero. Guerrero is a Hall of Famer. Rowland's still going to be trying to get in for the next few years. It's a nice Vladdy. Of course, you recognize the name Vladimir Guerrero because Vladdy Jr. is going to be making an impact probably within a month or so. John Smoltz, Brian Burris, Rich Aurelia, Omar Vizquel, Mike Ribello, Albert Pujols. There's Albert. He's still playing. He's winding down near the end of his career, Jonathan Papelbon and Jose Valverde. be interesting to see uh, what Pujols' final numbers end up looking like. Will he hit 700 home runs? He might if he can play for a few more years and stay healthy. Next up, we have this $30 value box. Uh, I did buy one of these at Dunham's a few months ago. Can't really remember really getting anything too good in there. I think these were produced in 2000. 7 or 2008, so our most recent pack in here might literally be from 2008 Tops, and I think I do see an 08 Tops pack on the front there with Manny Ramirez from Series 1. So let's see what we get. We have to uh, take it out of its safety packaging first. Get all these packs out of here, and then we'll go through them once again and show you what we have. We'll save those good Tops packs for last from uh, 2016, 17 that we're on the top of all these. All right, so that's a lot of packs. Let's see what we got. I'll just try to sort them out. We got Triple Play from 1992, and then we have 88 Don Ross and two 89 Don Ross packs. Got a couple 91 upper deck packs again. We've got an 87 toss pack, that's pretty nice. Uh, then we have 90. Uh, 90 Upper Deck, 91 Don Russ, one of the worst sets of all time. Another 90 Upper Deck Pack. I'll toss that over there. 2006 Tops along with another 87 Tops Pack. Try to sort these so I do them uh, in groups. 2006 Tops again. There's a 2008 Series 1, another 91 Don Russ. Upper Deck Series 2 from 2006, another 88 Don Russ Pack. And these two sitting here, we got some Fleer Traditions from... 2006 and Fleer Ultra from 2006 also. So once again, we'll start with the older ones from the junk era and work our way up. We'll start with my least favorite ones out of all these, probably 91 Don Russ. Um, Willie Stargell puzzle piece is pretty cool, but out of Series 1, there's really no decent cards that you can pull worth, you know, really anything at all. Unless you find an elite card. Paul Molitor is a decent card. But when I say decent, it's not worth more than like a quarter. All right, so that's that pack. Next pack. Let's see what we get in here. These cards are good for one thing, and that is through the mail autographs. If you can get them signed, you can turn a five cent card into worth uh, at least a couple bucks, depending on who it is. So through the mail, a lot of these old players, if you can track them down, they might be willing to sign. How about we do these 92 triple plays? First year ever of triple play. I used to like these cards. I used to buy these cards back in the day. Uh, they were geared towards kids. And in 92, I was 11 years old when these cards were out. Harold Baines blowing a bubble. A lot of times they had like fun pictures on there. Robin Yount, Hall of Famer, Mickey Tettleton, Greg Vaughn. Making a catch at the wall there. Let's check out the fans' reactions. Oh, it looks like that kid's probably pretty mad because he thought he was going to make a catch there with his nice first baseman's glove, but wasn't to be. Uh, we got a Dale Murphy. And it looks like we're going to get a Diamond King in this pack. 
see something shiny there. Or Gallery of Stars. Yep, they're called Gallery of Stars. Diamond King was exclusive to Don Russ. And uh, Gallery of Stars looks just like the Diamond Kings. These are pretty cool. Little insert. Used to have a couple of these. Bobby Bow. Still getting paid by the Mets. A million bucks a year for uh, every year until I think, what is it, like 2033 or something like that? Bobby Bonilla, former pirate. Used to like him a lot too. Used to like uh, Bonds, Bonilla, and Van Slyke were the guys back then. All right, next pack. We got a Juan Gonzalez, who was a beast for many years in the 90s, hitting tons of dingers. How about we do these 88s? We've already seen 88 Don Russ, but let's do it again just for the heck of it. All right, let's see if we get any rookie cards out of here. There's Bo Diaz. I think I talked about him the other day. He uh, perished in an unfortunate accident on his uh, roof. His satellite dish fell on him and uh, crushed him. It's a crazy, crazy way to go. Got to feel bad for him and his family. All right, next one. Looking for anything at all. Rookie cards, Gary Carter, again. Hall of Famer, but it's worth like 10 cents. Paul Malder, Fred McGriff. I hope Fred McGriff one day gets into the Hall of Fame. Really do. If he's going to fall off the ballot. He actually did fall off the ballot because he wasn't elected this year. So hopefully he gets in by one of the committees. 89, Don Russ. Let's see if we can pull that Griffey Jr. rookie card. Jack Morse is a Hall of Famer, and um, nope, we don't. We get a Robin Yount, uh, Diamond Kings. I always liked Diamond Kings growing up as a little kid. It was kind of like getting an insert card, even though they were part of the base set. Next pack of 89 Don Ross. Let's see what we get. There's a rated rookie. That's not the rated rookie that we want. We want the Griffey. We've got a lot of rated rookies, three of them in there. Make that four. Five, but no. Actually, we got two of the same one. But no Griffey. Five rated rookies, no Griffey. That kind of stinks. How about we do 1990 Upper Deck? Maybe we'll pull a Sammy Sosa rookie card out of here. 90 Upper Deck is always kind of annoying just because, like I mentioned before, the cards go back and forth, and I got to keep flipping back and forth. Well, at least there's a run here of like five and a, actually six in a row, going every which way. At least, you know, with uh, Upper Deck, they weren't able to be searched uh, because they were foil packs. Although, it is possible that the boxes could be searched because people could figure out the sequences by opening a pack or two. I found that out the hard way when I bought an 89 Upper Deck box and got literally nothing good. No Griffey, no signs of really any good rookie cards. I did get one Randy Johnson, and that was about it. Lots of people were telling me that um, it was a thing back in the day. People used to sequentially search the boxes and figure out, they would be able to figure out which packs had the Griffies. Of course, I didn't know that because I was only eight years old at the time. But there's a Deion Sanders rookie card. Neon Dion and Herm Winningham, who has an error card in 89 upper deck with his name spelled with a number in it. How about we do another upper deck? 91 upper deck, see if we get anything decent in here. Jerome Walton is, um, again, failed prospect. Charlie Hayes, you're going to hear a lot about him in the future just because his son, Key Brian Hayes, is coming up soon. If not this year, the next year. One of the top prospects in the Pirates system. What do we got here? Just a uh, Phillies hologram, Joey Cora. Another pack of 91. Again, I would be happy by finding the uh, Michael Jordan short print. Get about one every three boxes. That's probably the most valuable card in the set. Todd Hundley. Henry Rodriguez, he used to be a beast with the Expos. Remember him? He had a few very nice seasons. Steve Buschel again, San Diego Padres. Brian Harper, catcher for the Twins. We're getting a lot of cards here, that's for sure. Lots of cards. How about we do these 87 tops? See if we can find a Barry Bonds rookie or Bo Jackson. Oh, we got a Kyle Ripken Jr. on the back. Unfortunately, it's been stained by the gum, which kind of stinks, but still Ripken nonetheless. Nothing you can really do about a gum stain. You just got to take it. 
Roger Clemens all-star card, so not a terrible pack. There's the Kyle Ripken. Bruce Bochy, Rich Gossage, a.k.a. Goose Gossage. Kirby Puckett, this is actually a really good pack. Getting a lot of Hall of Famers. Bruce Bochy's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day, for sure, as a manager. Ruben Sierra, rookie card. And Dennis Oil Can Boyd is the uh, last card in that pack. Another pack of uh, 87, by the way. At least they gave you 17 cards in 87. Most years, they only gave you 15 in the Junk Wax era. And now, of course, that's just slowly been reducing. Um, went down to about 10 uh, cards per pack, and now it's back up to 14 cards a pack this year in 2019 tops, but less packs per box. All right, let's see if we get anything in this one. John Tudor was okay. Terry Pendleton, 1991 NL MVP. Let's do these Fleer ones. Fleer Tradition and Fleer Ultra. How about this Fleer Ultra pack? These were some of the last uh, cards Fleer made before they went under. Um, it looks like these are going to be sticking together a little bit. Danny Sandoval, Jeff Francis, Jose Reyes. There's a fake relic of Ken Griffey Jr. That would be cool if it was a real relic, like a bat relic. Kind of looks like a relic design. Raul Ibanez. And um, that's it. Not too many cards in there. How about Fleer Tradition with Ken Griffey Jr. on the front? Fleer Tradition. Trying to look at like older vintage cards. And they are sticking a little bit. Alex Rios. Jason Schmidt. Johan Santana. Nate McLeod. Rookie card. Jason Kubel. David Wright. And Connor Jackson. Pretty cool. A couple rookie cards in there of guys that had okay careers. Let's get this 2006 upper deck out of the way. This was around the time when a lot of the companies that were still left were going under. I think upper decks last year was 2009. So they were uh, they were basically uh, on life support at this time. Sean Estes, Jason Schmidt, Derek Jeter. It's just literature though, it's not an actual card. And Ortiz has a big September card. That's a nice looking card. A big poppy. 2008 Tops is up next. Is this a dollar pack? It's an actual 10 card pack, so at least it's not one of those little five card packs. Let's see if we get anything good in here. All right, we got Michael Barrett, Garrett Atkins, Jose Bautista. Guess what, guys? That's not Jose Bautista on that card. This is an uncorrected error card. And um, that's not even Jose Bautista's signature. Um, that is actually Jose Castillo, former Pirates uh, second baseman, who actually died recently in a car accident, unfortunately. So uh, if you're a Jose Bautista fan, you'd be pretty mad if you got that card. Brandon Phillips, earlier on in his career, after coming over from the Expos. Edgar Renteria had a nice career. Lou Pinella, the Cubs, and Moise Salou with the Mets. Alou had a really nice career. A lot of people forget he came up as a pirate. Now we have two packs of uh, 2006 before ripping open these um, random tops um, dollar store packs that they gave us. Let's see if I can do a nice clean rip of this. And nope, not going to happen. It's kind of stinks. Always like to uh, be able to save time and open all these at once. 2006 tops, 18 cards. It would have been easier if they would have just made it like a, you know, hanger pack, like a jumbo pack or whatever. 18 cards is not that many cards to be doing like three different sections and making a rack pack out of it. All right. I haven't seen rack packs in a long time, so I don't, I don't even know if Top still does them. Now they do those, those fat packs with like 36 cards in them, which you'll see at Walmart. All right, let's see if we get anyone good. Bartolo Colon, Cy Young Award winner card is a cool one. We get an Oliver Wolcott, Declaration of Independence. And then we get our buyback card. It's a good one. 88 tops, Kyle Ripken Jr. It's one of the better cards in the set. It's not stamped as a buyback or anything. It's just put in there, and it's in really good shape. Ryan Garko, Scott Schoenweiss, John Smoltz. Then we get a couple more. Ed Nunez, Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer right there. Barry Bonds, I like this card a lot. This was, uh, I think I bought this card not too long ago. I saw it out there and didn't have it. 
Barry Bonds, that picture was obviously taken like spring training. There's the stats on the back. He finished up with 762. Look at all that red. His slugging percentage, or his OPS, look at that. Every single year since 92, it was 1,000 or more. That's unheard of in today's game. Unheard of. Um, best player I ever saw, Barry Bonds, even though a lot of people definitely hate him. Chipper Jones, this is a pretty good pack. Lots of Hall of Famers. Jones, um, Bonds will probably get in someday. Smoltz, Cal Ripken, Bobby Cox, Hall of Famer right there. And Flash Gordon, that's Tom Gordon. That's D. Gordon's dad. He was a uh, decent pitcher back in the day, uh, featured in his Phillies uniform, but it's telling you he's now on the Yankees there. Um, kind of interesting. All right, and our last pack from that giant... $30 box, or used to be $30 box, is one more of these rack packs from 2006. So let's see if they give us another good throwback card. So far in these rack packs, we've been getting pretty good vintage cards, like the 82 Gossage and the uh, Cowardkin Jr. from 88. Let's see what we get in this one. There's an 84 Topps card hiding out in here, along with a Derek Jeter. And another Derek Jeter, along with A-Rod. Sammy Stewart is our throwback card. Then we got a Miguel Tejada. Luis Gonzalez, who won the uh, 2001 World Series with that little dinky blooper off of Mariano Rivera. There's a Mickey Mantle, home run number one. They did one of those cards for every home run that he hit, up to 536. Burt Blylevin, Hall of Famer, 84 tops card. Mark Kotze, Johnny Peralta. I wish they'd give us a card from the 60s, but no, we get an 88 Dan Schatzitter. Troy Percival. Barry Bonds again. That's two Barry Bonds. That's nice. And Carlos Lee. So now we're done with those uh, mystery boxes. Now we just have these bad boys left to go. We'll start with um, save. We'll save 2015 for last. We'll start with the most recent and work our way back. How about some 2017 Top Series 2 would be the most recent. Let's see what we get. These are only dollar store packs, so probably no autographs or relics or anything like that. But maybe we'll find some good rookie cards. Or maybe we won't. All right, our next pack. Ian Kinsler's in there. Mike Fires. Uh, Tony Walters, Jorge Polanco. So far, nothing great. We got. You will have to let me know, you guys, what you think of this box. If it's a good deal for um, twenty bucks or twenty-seven bucks when shipping's factored in. Trevor Bauer. Honestly, I am um, kind of surprised that it was better than I thought. I was literally expecting to get a whole bunch of the same kind of pack. Um, I was expecting to get a lot of junk packs from the same year. And although we did get a lot of cards from the junk era, by the way, I kind of messed up my rotation. I'm doing 2016 because I'm talking to you guys. But that's okay. Maybe we'll get interrupted and get a nice big hit here from 2016. Uh, even though we did get a bunch of cards from the junk wax era, as I was saying, I, I like the variety. I like it if, it if it's switched up and they put different years and different brands in there, it's, it's not that bad. If you think about it, we paid about 50 cents a pack. There's a Bryce Harper sliding in there. That's a pretty cool picture. I don't think I've seen that card before. This is Jung Ho Gong. He is tearing it up in spring training with five home runs, leading the Pirates, Nelson Cruz. Let's do these 2017 ones with Chris Bryant on the front. David Freeze, Altuve, Addison Russell, Colby Rasmus, Bryce Harper, another Bryce Harper. So. Get some good luck with the Harpers. A couple of those. And our next pack, I see a Zach Britton on the back. Jake Arrieta. David Dahl rookie card. He's projected to maybe hit like 30 home runs this year, so hopefully he breaks out and becomes a star. I'm rooting for David Dahl. Only two packs left, and then we are done. Let's see if we can get a big rookie card here. Adam Lind and... Angel Pagan. Last pack, 2015 Tops Update. All right, we got Michael Waka, Williams Perez. I think he still plays a ball, but I think he's in like 
Frontier League ball now or something like that, unfortunately for him. But he's still not giving up the dream. Zach Granke, Josh Rutledge, and Garrett Cole All-Star. And that is it for this pack opening. I hope you liked the video, everybody. It was fun to rip through all those packs. Mystery boxes and stuff like that are always, um, you know, they're kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Overall, I was kind of happy that we got so many cards for um, 27 bucks. If you'd like to buy all these cards, I'm gonna toss them on eBay. I'll just put them up there for 27 bucks, which is the price that I paid. And then um, I will probably put all these in a wax box and team bags and ship them off to whoever wants them. Also, my case breaks are live, so check the description. This week, I'm gonna be doing a case of 2019 Topps opening day, and also 2018 Panini Diamond Kings which already sold out. It sold out really fast on Patreon, uh, literally in, within an hour or so. That's coming up this week on the channel. Also, I have a poll going in my community tab for you guys to vote what box you want me to open for Throwback Thursday, 81 Fleer, 82 Don Russ, 83 Fleer, or 90 Don Russ. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you click the subscribe button and like this video if you wouldn't mind. And leave a comment, was this worth it or was it not? And I will see you all tomorrow. Lastly, I wanted to thank all 110 of my Patreon patrons, especially my Hall of Fame members right here. Bob and Linda, Tom A, Tommy T, T's Baseball Life has a YouTube channel. Crazy for Cardboard, Big Case, Cards and Collectibles, and iCards also have YouTube channels. And Darren Comfort is at the top of the list.